Zebrafish are staples in many home aquariums and are always in high demand. The price gets cheaper as you get more, so it's, it's always worth it to get more of them, and they're a lot happier when they're in groups as well. Zebrafish are very resilient, making them a nearly perfect pet. They're really tough fish. Scientists have also taken a liking to the fish and used them for biomedical research. The petri dish doesn't have a blood supply and it doesn't have the kinds of complex interactions of cells and other, other, other processes going on, whereas in the zebrafish, it's at a context which is much more uh, relevant. The Dr. Berman Zebrafish Lab opened just a few weeks ago in the IWK. One of the goals of the lab is to create treatments for people with diseases that have fewer side effects. We really need to develop better treatments, better therapies. The team at the Berman Lab inject diseased cells into the fish, then test out different drugs by putting them in the water and seeing how the fish respond. Our facility houses around 8,000 adult zebrafish, and they have two very different appearances. So on this side are our wild type background fish, and they have a, a silver background with blue stripes, which gives them their name zebrafish. And then on this side are our Casper fish. Just like Casper the Friendly Ghost, Caspers are completely see-through. So these are the eyes of the fish. This is the heart, the two-chamber heart. So zebrafish has. Since they are transparent, researchers watch as the fish's system responds to the drug. And within a week, they have the results. With such a quick turnaround, the fish are very useful tools for designing better therapies. Dr. Berman hopes he can also use the lab's findings to develop personalized treatments on a patient-by-patient -patient basis in the future. For The Anchor, I'm Rebecca Hussman.